All right, sweetie, what would you say are your top three requirements for our new home? Um, one would be a updated electrical infrastructure mm. in the house, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, with the hobby equipment that both of us have, um, with the power that they draw, I mean, we don't want breakers popping all over the place and yeah, stuff true. turning off. I mean, you know, true. so we, 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 we can't have that. Yeah, been there, done that. Dedicated hobby space. Mm -hmm. So when I'm painting or, or cutting stuff or breaking in an engine or something like that for my RC hobby, um, that it would be a little bit outside the house so that, mm -hmm. that we could, you know, it wouldn't disturb the family or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> and let's see, third, probably um, walking distance to some convenience stores um, access. Um, okay. And then being close enough to, since we do have our vehicle, um, to drive to the grocery store not too far away. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So how about you? I would like to have a dedicated hobby space too. Okay. Um, because... We did come here with the full-fledged desire and wish that we would be able to enjoy our hobbies yeah. and whatnot. So I would. So we, that's one of the main reasons we kept my embroidery machine, my uh, my cutter, my heat press, my hat press, all of the things that I use to embellish and decorate uh, clothes, and you know. I would like to keep that and do that. So I would like to have a dedicated hobby space. Sure. Um, next up behind that would probably be, oh, a guest space for the family. Sure. Yeah. I yeah. mean, we are aspiring empty nesters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but every now and then I would like the kids to, the kids to be able to come back from college and, and maybe for us to be together at Christmas time or yeah, sure. for family to come and visit. And I'd like for them to have, um, or at least the space be able to accommodate, you know, some room for family to come visit. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And then my last thing would probably be a rooftop garden. Yeah, you've always wanted one of those. A little sexy rooftop garden situation, you know, <laughs> so that we could have a fantastic view. That would be just the icing on the cake. Yeah, so, that sounds good. Sounds good. So if we can look for those, uh, <laughs> find the house with all those things, then... Yeah. <sighs> write it up. Yeah. Search begins. All right, so let's go get something to eat. Okay.
going on, everybody? Okay, all right. All right. Did you see that house? Did y'all see that house? Oh my gosh. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice house. <sighs> nice open architecture. Yeah. Uh, big, well, you like the big front door kind oh. of deal. Um, the door. Uh, yeah. I really love the door. I have yeah. a thing about doors. I, I just love doors. The, the outside parking, five, six cars or yeah. thereabouts. Uh, yeah. Really, really nice. Really nice. In a gated neighborhood. Actually, it's in a inside. Double neighbor, gated. Double gated neighborhood. It was neighbor. a double gated neighborhood. Yes. Ah, very nice. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Because I know he hasn't said it yet, but I know he's going to say something about the condition of the house. Uh, well. In some of the rooms, the dog poop, the poop in the toilets. Yeah. The the dirtiness, the cleanliness, yes. or lack thereof. But it I thought the house had good bones. Yeah, I could, so, yeah, for sure. I could do something with that thing. For sure, for sure. And um, uh, the living space, the openness in the kitchen. Right. To be able to have the dining room. That kitchen then, was big. Yes. The kitchen um, was very big. And also being able to, you know, spend time with family while cooking. Ah, uh, yes. And, yeah, upstairs. Upst that house had great space for, I can see us being able to make it work for your hobby, for yeah. my hobby, and maybe finagle some guest room out of that. Yeah. That whole That whole guest house right. was just, wow. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that. Right, full kitchen. Full kitchen on the guest house. On the guest house, yeah. so two full, two laundry rooms. One in the guest room, guest house. One in the main house. Right. Uh, I like the fact that uh, the uh, master, the principal bedroom, was on the first floor, first floor which was new for me. But yeah. It was a big deal because that was it, nice. It led, so that kind of leads had a... out to the the um, the patio area. Nice that backyard, had a separate from the kids. Yeah. yeah nice backyard. <laughs> Yeah, Real very nice, nice backyard. backyard. It back to a golf course, a former golf course, so yeah. you could tell uh, where the golf course was that literally emptied right into the backyard. Yeah, the house had six full bathrooms. Six, yeah. Because we didn't notice when we first went into the house that the hall bathroom, which normally for I'm used to. Um, having like a powder room. Oh yeah, we thought it was a powder, powder room, room, but it was actually a full bath. bath. Because it had a shower. That's true. Um, so that was very cool. Uh, the upstairs television room. Yeah. Area. Had its own balcony. Balcony. Actually, the house had lots of outdoor living space. Yeah, it was great. The lower terrace. Then there was the balcony on the back of the house. Mm -hmm. And then there was a large terrace on the front of the house. Right. And then there was a smaller terrace over in the guest house right. and then it also had an exit out to a little patio on the lower level right right so it was phenomenal space yeah the house had great space ah <sighs> convenience but... to uh, tend it's a little town it had uh, little stores oh yeah it was in a walking walk distance of the panderia true, um true. the Pharmacia was right around, right outside of the Very gate. Very convenient to stores nearby. Nice bike riding neighborhood. It did. Yeah, now, nice walking neighborhood. The view on the back of the house, um, the you could see on the side of the house, on the, the balcony on the side of the house, you could see a view to the Antia Mall. Just a little sliver of the view to the Antia Mall where they are actually doing some construction. Right. Um, so I don't know how long that view is going to last, but... There, you could see some con the the view, and then also on the back of the house, there was a really nice view. It wasn't a rooftop, but it was a very nice view. Yeah, yeah, good view um, off into the distance. You could see a smidgen of, of central, a little bit, a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, interesting thing when we were there, we noticed that there was livestock, there were horses. Oh right, yeah, right across the street was yeah. horses. Horses. And, and, and goats. goats. Yeah, wow. That yeah. Was, that so was that was pretty neat. Interesting. Yeah. Um, the guest house had neat architecture, big windows, lots of light into that space. Could do something really yeah. good with that space. Absolutely. Has um, a lot of potential, this house. So the question for y'all, too, which one are we going with? We've seen, a, we've seen some yeah. really nice houses, and we yeah. got to make a decision. 
yeah, we have to make a decision on which one we're going to go with as far as our first home here in Queretaro, and you know, we'll see how it how it works out. Y'all leave a comment down below on what you think we should pick for our very first house. Yeah, but this was a this was a good one. This was this was on the on the top of the list. This is this is definitely on the list. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, I think I know which one I would want to go with. Yeah, I think we may have one that we might we I think we can we'll have to talk about it and see which one. I don't know. I don't know guys. Well See you guys later. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye.